Welcome to another episode of Zombicide Black Plague and today we are going to look at another uh, quest that um, Simon released on their webpage which is called Nyabok the Necromancer um, Yeah, so it's quest B18 today um, and I've already set up uh, the whole thing. I also have a little bit of a new uh, camera setup where I can also show the um, dashboards with the characters on it. But we come to them uh, later on. We will start first with the uh, setup um, a little bit about the quest, which again is um special in a sense and you can already see um there's quite some interesting stuff going on and um so the objectives here is um gather all the herbs or gather the herbs which is basically getting all the uh, the objectives and then defeat uh Nyvok, which is the necromancer um and kill him by hitting him three times so you can already see this is a bit special because the necromancer is already on the board. Um, we have some zombies on the board, which may or may not be a factor of uh, how this <laughs> this will go on. Um, so we have some special rules here. So first we have the good smelling herbs, uh, which is each objective gives five experience points to the survivor who takes it, which is uh, pretty standard. Taking a double-sided red objective also grants a vault artifact to the survivor. Um, the survivor inventory may then be reorganized for free. So which means um, under here there is a blue and a green objective and of course two normal red objectives. And this time around it's the other way around. So if the objective is neither green nor blue, I get a vault weapon. Otherwise I just get the experience points. Um, so what's special here is him, the Nyavok, which is the um, uh, necromancer. So he, so he represents basically the Nyavok, uh, which has standard necromancer rules, are not used in this quest. So he doesn't move around, um, he doesn't spawn um, uh, necromancer spawn zones, but he will have some special rules. And so uh, first is Nyavok starts on the board without the Necromancer spawn zone, which yeah, I already did. Um, the Necromancer zombie cards activate Nyavok, uh, Nyavok instead. However, based on the card, this uh, Horde Zombie Spawn as normal, which is uh, something that's uh, specific to Green Horde, which I ignore here. So what he basically does um, is whenever um, there is a, uh, a Necromancer activation, um, he will teleport to a different position on the board. Um, and I did this with, because I have a problem with dice, uh, that I have too many of them. I've used a black dice and blue dice uh, to represent the coordinates, which they also, which they say in, in, the, in, in the rules, you just have to roll twice uh, to see um, on which position it is, but since I have some additional dice, uh, I just um, do that. And I also have a blue and a black die here um, to basically roll these to find out on which position he spawns. So basically, uh, whenever there's an activation, instead of moving around, he, he is, um, and he only moves when uh, there is a zombie Necromancer activation cards from the spawn deck. It, he doesn't move. He doesn't move at all. Otherwise, it's as far as I gather from the rules. Um, so he, he then jumps around the board, and whenever he jumps, he leaves uh, zombies where he was before. So it's basically um, how he moves around the board. Um, what's also special with him? He can't be killed. So he is basically invulnerable as long as there are objectives on the board. So I first have to gather all the herbs and then I can start hitting him. Then he gets, um, so basically then he gets um, into his second form, which I can then hit 
I have to hit him uh, three times. Whenever I hit him, he removes. Yeah, I basically he loses one health. I get two experience points. Uh, but I can only hit him once per turn, per survivor's turn. Um, so I have to do hit him. There's a zombie activation phase. Then hit him again. The zombie activation phase. Hit him again, and then he's dead. And then I win the thing. So there's two intermittent uh, zombie activations in that. So I have to be a bit aware of my surroundings and reposition myself if needed. Uh, and he's also um, stronger, so when he teleports, um, zombies in his zone and around him, um, an adjacent zone to his, so I gather um, adjacent are just these. Um, they also get an access activation, so which might potentially be not so good. Um, so, the scenario is uh, set as medium. Um, I could gather that because there's only two spawn zones here. More spawn zones would probably mean more activations for, for, for Nyberg, which will be much more deadly. And it's rated as 60 minutes. Um, yeah, hmm, I don't know. Um, Probably a two hours as, as usual with uh, quests from zombie side. Um, they take a little bit longer. So um, and we start the survivor start here. As the the thing is, the quest is originally designed for zombie side green horde, um, and I have adapted it to black plague. I will post the link to my adaptation um, in the description. So you can also see what it is. I, I the thing is there isn't exactly similar tiles uh, in in um, in Black Plague that I can do the same thing as Green Horde because Green Horde also has like bushes or hedges and water trenches, which is a little bit different. So there is a bit of a difference, I think. The major difference is that is this tile here, which I think the only closed space is here, not in the middle, which is also interesting from line of sight for me, which makes it maybe a bit harder. There is some stuff going here. There's additional rooms here, which normally aren't accessible or, or they aren't there, but I hope this is still kind of thing, which is also interesting because normally this space here wouldn't be accessible at all. Um, but now there is a, um, a path to it, which maybe may or may makes it more fair. I don't know. Um, so that's it for the scenario. Um, I don't know how this goes. As I said, I have had to adapt this for some beside Black Plague. Um, it may not be easier or more difficult because of that. I gather it's maybe a bit easier but we will see um so let's get back to the survivors um as i said i have here an additional cam just for the survivors so you can see um also the dashboards during play and i also show the cards that i draw equipment cards etc on here uh, if possible uh so first off again we have uh, Anne. um she on blue has the um Bloodlust melee uh, ability, which she can move two zones uh, and attack, um, which uh, might be interesting. Uh, and I get got her the, the, the short sword um, while we're starting um, equipment cards. Then we have Samson. Um, again, pretty standard thing here. Um, he, I did it a little bit different with him this time around. Um, last time around, I gave him the hammer because obviously he had the hammer in hand already in his miniature. Um, but um, yeah, so he gets iron height, which means he has a five plus uh, armor save. Um, so on a five plus, he doesn't. He can roll a five plus, and he doesn't get a wound, or he doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't get a wound, so it is a bit uh, harder to kill. The reason normally why I normally give Samson the the hammer is because of his red ability, where he gets plus one damage. I mean, until I get into red, I hopefully find another melee weapon that is to damage. Um, so, yeah, it doesn't really matter. 
Um, and because of Clovis, which I come later on, um, which the hammer is probably a better starting weapon for him. So I gave him just the, the short sword. Um, and what I also did this time, maybe this helps, um, except for Anne, because I wasn't able to put the coloring on her because the coloring kept popping off, probably because I painted the rim of the mini. I don't know. But the others have a rim on it, so you can may, uh, you're maybe, so they're maybe easier to spot for you on the overhead camera. So Samsung is a dark blue. Um, he goes onto the starting position as well. Then we have Silas, the elf. Um, again, he starts pretty standard with the short bow um, because he gets uh, plus one to hit on on uh, on range, so it's pretty natural to give him that because then he hits on two pluses, which makes him a really good sniper early on. Uh, and he's in this turquoise teal color. So that's that. Then we come, uh, as I said, to Clovis, and as I said here, um, he is special because now I give him the hammer. Uh, the reason is because of his blue skill. He gets one additional die on melee, um, so this makes him a really good fatty killer because he has two chances to hit on a 4+, plus, which otherwise Samson didn't, didn't have. So he makes it a bit more efficient on killing... Um, uh, fatties um, early on and he is on on the blue um, on a or in a light blue um, ring here then we have the the magic user which is Baldrick um, yeah he gets basically a free uh, magic action uh, on blue uh, so that's why you normally give him the uh, mana explosion card so he gets Gets that so I need to use red and last but not least on orange we have Nelly the barmaid um, and on blue she gets one free movement action so she basically can move a little bit faster and she also gets a short sword and as I said she's in orange um, that is basically it. Um, so yeah, um, so we could basically now start with the quest. So, um, so there's two things here to be to be done here. So I either could go here um, or go here, which is more or less the things that are closest. Um, the, so the issue is also a bit, um, so the the issue is that this is three spaces apart, which so I have to spend three movement to even get here. And then I don't have any action left to actually hit the, try to open the door and then there is spawning in here. So I could just position them um, all here and I mean I could also try to shoot him off but I don't think I really need to because he just moves one space down if I am if I'm if all are here and then I can try to snipe him with ball, ball ring next turn around um, so I think I could kill it with Anne so I could move with Anne here then move one to his zone and attack him with Anne for free, um, for uh, basically read, but then she can only move. Uh, so that's one action, two actions, and three actions. So she would be here next, starting next turn, which uh, she's a bit um, uh, free. So I basically just can use three actions to just move here. I could use one free movement and action from from her. Which would mean that she could try to open door one, open the door once, but this would then mean that these two zones are getting spawns. Um, this may may or may not be good because, for example, the abomination could spawn here, which I actually don't really want. Um, so yeah, that's why I um, I basically just spent my first turn just moving here with all of my. Um, 
with all of my survivors. And then I have all of them all here. This one moves here, so I can then use a free magic action from Baldrick at, at ranged to kill him off um, in this space. And I can also try to open this door and then snipe around, or I can even snipe around with 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 uh, Sailors, which may or may not be even better because he has um, two plus to, to, to kill. So yeah, so, and then I can search in here while there is things going on. So there's two runners here, which uh, of course, um, I mean, she is um, caught in here. So she will just move here and then stay here. They don't open doors. Um, that's not something that zombies do currently or in this edition. So she, normally in this scenario, she would be in an open space. I mean, I could move her to an open space. I could move her to here. Um, but I just kept her in here. So that's an additional zombie that's just in the house as soon as I open the door. So whatever. Um, I could also go up there because I have to get all the objectives. Um, I I always, as always, I want to spawn as little as possible early on. So I probably want to go this way around to get all the things because it's um ah, yeah, maybe i don't want to open these early on as well just because there's three zones in here i, I mean this is just a bad space to get if i don't get it he gets an additional hit in it at least in this scenario not all the survivors have to survive so i could use i could do with some um i could um just kill one of them off, off to, to, so that the others can survive. But I think I go first here, um, just because there's just two spawns here, so there's less of a probability to spawn something nasty. So I move with everybody uh, over here. And I do, do not use free action on Nelly, just so that I open the door next turn. So I basically wait here. So this is zombie activation phase now. So everybody moves or activates. So she moves here, she moves here, she moves here. They move and then they move again. Um, actually, let's see. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, yeah, that's that way around. So because they decide how to get there, they take the shortest path. So that's down. So, uh, and as I said, he doesn't activate. Um, he only activates when there is a spawn card for activation of him. Um, whoops, this shouldn't happen. Um, so let's now spawn some zombies. So um, let's spawn up here. I get, um, yeah, I already get the abomination there. So that's good that he spawns over there, uh, so I can kite him around a bit, so it's not really an issue. Um, yeah, as I said, if I opened that door and the abomination would be here, that would be way more um, uh, annoying. And then down here, uh, which is just one walker. Easy peasy. So, okay. So that's the spawn uh, or the zombie phase um, done. Let's get these out of here. So the thing is, um, so with whom do I want to start? Um, I'd rather start with, I'd rather open this door. So if I open it, I can then use Sailors and Baldrick to snipe stuff off that's in here before I move in with everybody else just because I don't want to have the, the um, uh, friendly fire rule uh, hitting me so yeah let's let's not do that so um, uh, so maybe let's start, so if there are fatties in here, I don't want to go with Clovis first. So let's say I do this with Samson. 
So I try to open the door. Samson um, has a short sword um, which is able to open doors on a 4 plus. Nope, so that's uh, his first action, so I try it again as his second action. <laughs> nope, and as his third action. Nope, so he's just spent all of his actions to open that door, which he failed miserably at. Um, okay. Um, I go with Nelly next then. She has, she can do the same. She can also open doors on the fourth plus. Let's hope she rolls a bit better. Yes, so I open that door. And then there's two, um, two spawns going to happen. On, on there because there's two zones so let's see uh yeah so the necromancer activates so the necromancer activates which, which means i first spawn zombies in this zone because he then leaves there which is just one walker and then i and then he, then he teleports oops so basically this means now i roll my blue and my uh, black die so he moves to blue six, which is here, and then to red black five, which is here. So this is really bad um, because the next time he moves around, he will spawn stuff here. Um, so yeah, but he, I, I mean, at least he doesn't hit basic, but this is now a zone where I can move through easily and he can spawn uh, nasty stuff in here. Yeah, so that's a little bit annoying. So uh, that's that, and then there is the second um, thing here, which is just one fatty. And as I said, this is one that what I actually actually wanted to happen. So that's good. So I opened the door with my first action with Nelly, which is good because now she can free move in here and search. So let's move these away. And have a look what we find here. We find a crossbow, which uh, has a range from one to two and hits for two damage, which is good. So I actually equipped this with Nelly. And because she has an action left, because I opened the door with the first action, free moved in here, uh, search for one action, so she still has an action left. And because this has a range from one to two, I can shoot it. And I shoot two dice, hit on a four plus, and it does two damage to that, um, to that uh, uh, fatty there, which is really good. Uh, so yeah, I kill it. Yay! So she gets one experience points for killing that fatty. And that ends her turn. So Samson was gone, Nelly did go. Um, so now I can do all the others, which also means I can search with all the other characters in that space. So first off, I want to shoot with Silas, I think. So I go with Silas first. So he has the, the short bow, as I said. So he hits on the three plus normally, but since he has his ranged ability, which gives him plus one to hit, he hits on a two plus. Um, he gets just gets one die, but he can uh, try to kill off that uh, walker with a two plus to hit. Yeah, that's a five, so he hits it, and this kills the walker. So he also gets an experience point. So that was his first action. So his second action, he moves in, and in his third action, he searches, and he gets a leather armor, which gives him an armor save of five plus which is nice so i give this to to him um so that's silas done next up i am going to um move with Anne. ones in here um i could also actually move into here to get that um so yeah i move into here so it's second action and then i search which she gets a um, torch. Okay, so 
yeah, let's equip it. I mean, I don't have anything anyway. And then she searches. She can search next turn a bit better. So that's her done. Uh, next up is Clovis. I don't have to kill Fatis with him. Now that Nelly also has a two thing thingy here. So I do the same here. One, two, and search. And he gets a Lombo, which means he has now a really long range. Um, he has a ranged weapon now, which is maybe good. Um, that's something normally that Salas is really interested in, but he's not in the same space, so I can't trade with him. And uh, let's do the same thing then with Baldrick, which basically also moves one, two into here and searches. And he gets uh, a lot of bolts, which um, he can have in his backpack. So I can reroll um, stuff with bolts on it, which, um, for example, would be really good with Nelly because she has a uh, crossbow that has bolts on it. And she's currently, unfortunately, not in the same space, so I can trade with her. But that's maybe something I want to do. Or it's maybe also something I want to do uh, or give to uh, Silas because he can hit way better with it. So um, that's basically all of my survivors done, uh, which means I go into the zombies phase, which means first everybody moves. So um, move, 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 and then move, and then these move again. Um, because the loudest zone is basically here-ish, so it's all down here, so he has, they have to move down here anyway. He doesn't move, as per rule, and then there is spawning. So up there, I spawn... Uh, okay, there's double brood, which means I spawn twice down here. Which is first the uh, necromancer, so the necromancer spawns again. Um... So there's one fatty appearing here, and then he teleports away on to black two and three. So he moves over here, and then there is a second one. So that was the first spawn of the double spawn down there. And then there's a double double spawn, so I go back up and spawn twice over there, which is another fatty. And nothing. Okay. Whew. So that's. So that was interesting. Okay, so. Samson has a problem. I. Well. So. Basically, which, what, what is good is the the crossbow from Nelly has a range of 1 to 2. Which means she can shoot 1, 2, she can shoot him. So she can basically snipe him, which is really good. Um, unfortunately, yeah, so she can do that, which is really good. I probably want to give her, like, I mean, I have this uh, plenty of bolts with um, with Baldrick, which she could benefit really great off. Um, and, yeah, that would be really great to give her. So I would first move in with Baldrick and trade. So I could move in with Baldrick, trade, and still search, which I might do. But I probably also don't. So the thing is, so in this scenario, what what's happening? Because I'm here, I'm I could basically turtle here, but then there's more and more stuff just pouring in because it, this takes a long time also for me to move up there. So there's still pouring and pouring stuff and stuff in. So there's maybe some additional spawns from the necromancer himself. Um, so there's more and more stuff coming in. But I could basically turtle here, get really good weapons, and then just go around. I could also maybe, for example, think about splitting the group. It depends a bit on what th things I get. Um, I still have to 
be kind of be aware of the um, abomination that comes in. So what I want to do probably is, whoops. So who has, does Anne has a, no, she doesn't have an experience yet. So what I want to do with Anne is basically, um, I want to, I, hmm, so who has the most benefit? Well, they all have in yellow the same action. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to pick up the objective with Anne in here. So I picked this up. So let's see. No, it's a blue token. So I only get five experience points. They go to five. Um, then, so that's one action. Then I search with her. Now, because she has equipped the torch, she can search twice here. Or she can look at two cards and take take one of them. So one of them is another leather armor, which gives her five plus armor save. And the other one is a dagger, which is really great because the dagger gives plus one die on her melee action. And she can actually equip the die, uh, the, the dagger here. She doesn't have to equip it in her hand. So I take that um, because it's, I guess the better thing with her. So what's her second action? And then I stay here. So the reason why I did that, if I got, um, for example, in the Inferno spell from the vault, I could have given that to Baldrick um, because he's in the same space, but he isn't. So, uh, yeah. So what I can do now is uh, search with Baldrick. She just gets one card uh, and he just gets uh, one walker in his zone. So there is some Lance Walker appearing here. Yeah, which isn't that really that of an issue. Um, well, it is kind of an issue. So I... Uh, I mean, I, can't, I could move... Yeah, so I use two actions to move here because I want to be with Mali so I can trade with her and give her the plenty of bolts. Um, so I move here. I have to use two actions because now there's a sum in here so which costs me one more action to move. So that's uh, Baldrick done. Um, then I activate Clovis. So Clovis. And what I'm gonna do is activate his hammer. So he gets one die and hits on a four plus, but since he's Chloe's on his blue, he gets an additional die on melee. So I try to clobber this walker with my hammer on a four plus, I hit. Um, so that's a four, so I hit it and kill it. That's one experience point. And then I can search again. So I can search. And he also gets a dagger, which again gives him a more an additional die um, for when he um, when he attacks on melee. Now, since he only can equip uh, shields in his thing, I can't put the dagger in here like I did with Anne. So I actually have to equip it. So I put that into his backpack and give the dagger to him. So basically, now it means he has three dies with the, with the hammer, which is really good for him. So that's that's him done. So now I go to to Nelly. Nelly, I activate Nelly to trade with um, Baldrick, which is now in the same space, and I give her the plenty of bolts, so I can reroll reroll now all things from my uh, crossbow. Um, so then I shoot at this fatty from there because I have a range of one to two with two dies hitting on four pluses and re-rolling if I miss. Yeah, I re-roll that and I hit it. So this is killed. So I get another experience with her. And because this only used one action now, I can search. 
So I search and get another mana explosion, which is um, not really great. So interestingly enough, this has um, a dual wheel thing here. So I could I could maybe give this to uh, Baldrick actually. So he has also a thing here. I have to th quickly check the rules if I'm allowed to trade when I pick up stuff. Um, if I search, um, uh, no, I can just put it into my backpack. So I put it in my backpack then, because I don't. Well, no, I don't have. I could have. I only have a free movement action, but that's all, that's it. Yeah. So I yeah I do that. I could give it next turn, next time him. So that's her done. It's now um, Silas's turn, so he basically just searches uh, the room, which oh, which is good. The plenty of arrows, which gives him a reroll, which he normally doesn't really need, but it's okay to have it. And then I am going to move in with Samson and search with him as well. And he finds a zombie. Why not? Yeah, but I can um, attack it. Uh, because he moves one search one, so he has still one action left. Unfortunately, he only gets it on a 4 plus. Because I was only the shitty sword. Um, so let's hope for a 4 plus. Nope. So that zombie lives, which is bad. Because I moved with everybody. Ouchie. Okay, so that's uh, zombie phase then. So let's prepare the deck. Um, so first everybody moves. So uh, move, move, uh, she doesn't move, then move, 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 and then these move twice, one, two, and then she activates, so she now hits. Now I can distribute uh, whatever I want. Um, Samson has Ironhide, it's in here, Silas has also the le leather armor, but I'd rather keep Silas than um, anything else. So I put it onto Samson, he has Ironhide, so he can, with a 5+, plus he ignores that wound. 6, so he ignores that wound. Um, that's that, so now there is spawning, so the spawn zone up there spawns uh, two walkers. And then the spawn zone down here spawns one walker. Yeah, nothing too ridiculous going on here. So yeah. Um so the runners next turn will be here. Um I could move with everybody down here just so that I have a bit of leniency if they activate again uh, so they don't shred everybody in here. But as you can see everything moves slowly down and there's just more and more stuff coming and this this is not, this will be a very bad spot here because there's probably going to be a lot so I still want to keep on searching for better stuff. Um, So I want to also get rid I first have to get rid of that zombie here. So again, I will probably, um, I could activate Anne, which is probably better because she has two dice. Yeah, so I'm going to, uh, but then she has to move back again. Well, I could bloodlust, hope to kill it, move back and search, so. So let's activate and so let's use her special ability um, bloodlust so she can move and then attack it's the same turn now I get two dice because of the short sword and the dagger so the dagger gives me gives plus one dice on whatever attack with a melee weapon so I get two dice here hitting on four pluses um, double one oh jeez. Um, yeah I mean um, 
try to hit it again. The so second action hit again. So this time around, I kill it. He gets one experience point. Ooh, that's not that great actually. So I don't want to get to the yellow yet. Um, so the question is, yeah, I think I'm going to search with her here. Um, oh, which I get the dragon bar, which is good. And I get speed. Um, yeah, I think I get the dragon bile here. I can't use it because I have to equip it and then use it. But um, now I have dragon bile, so if the abomination comes, I can I can kill it. So that makes her done um, with everybody else. I could GTFO and just leave her there, which I may or may not want to do. Um, well, I mean, let's keep people here, I guess. So um, let's see. I will activate Nelly next. Um, and she will uh, initialize trading to give the mana explosion to Baldrick. And since Baldrick, um, Baldrick has another mana explosion, now, because it is a uh, half the dual wield icon, he can now equip both of it and just basically have two dice when trying to shoot with that spell. So that's her first action. Her second action, she goes, she searches, of course, uh, and she gets uh, another bolt weapon, which um, is a little bit a more crappier one. Yes, it has more shots. Uh, but only hits on three pluses or on five pluses even. She could re-roll it. Silas could benefit from that actually because um, he he would hit on four pluses. Um, the range, although, would be the same as his arrows. Um, yeah, because she has still an action left. So his her first first action was to freely move no he doesn't really need to move so she um searched as her no he traded then searched and now she's his third action she could trade again with silas and give him the um crossbow re repeating crossbow um because he's a bit better at in using it and that is her turn so that's her done Next up, let's search with Silas. So Silas searches and he finds some apples, which isn't that great. Um, yeah, that's Silas done. Then Samson searches. Oh, he also finds a torch, which is good. So he equips the torch. So next time he searches, he can also search twice. And what's also good, he could basically throw down the um, the the torch when the abomination comes. Um, Baldric activates and searches. Ooh, there is a another. Uh, there's a chain mail here, which gives um, a four plus armor save. Um, which is good actually um i could trade this off off the samson um because i still have, an, have two actions left basically or i could give it to no i don't want to give it to Anne. but yeah i would rather give it to uh yeah, I trade with Silas. He Silas has the um, leather armor. So Silas still has the leather armor, which is a 5 plus armor save. Um, I'd rather give him... Well, I want to give Chainmail basically on a... On somebody that's... Ah, uh, let's give it still to Samsung. I mean, he's close combat and he's currently has the shittiest weapon, so he probably not needs that. And then Clovis um, searches as well. And he gets some food item, which just gives him an experience point if he needs it. 
Um, and I move with him here just because it, everybody is in here and I can trade with everybody. I don't think it changes anything for activation purposes. So that's the survivors done. Uh, let's now go to zombies. So uh, activation, activate and again activate. So this is now really scary here. Um, then activate, activate, they don't activate, 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 and activate. And then they spawn. So the upper spawn just Oh, this is the abomination, so the abomination gets an extra activation. And then there is a walker on here. I think that's the only two cards that have abomination on blue, so I should be good for now as long as I don't switch to yellow. Um, so now I have zombies here, so I have to kill them off, which shouldn't be an issue now. I have some weaponry here. Um, I would say I start with Clovis first to kill off these zombies, just because Clovis has a hammer, a dagger, and his ability, which gives him three dice that hit on four pluses. So the hammer gives one. His ability gives one a die, and then the dagger gives one die if I attack in melee, so which or which attack a melee, with a melee weapon, which I do. So I hit on four pluses with three die dies. Of course, it's a little overkill because they do two damage, but well. So yeah, there's two four pluses, so I kill both of these off. So he gets two experience points. He gets these. That was his first action, and now with his um, second action, he can search in here, which he gets healing. Ooh, that's nice. Um, so that's his. So let's think about. So I attacked first, the second action, so I could give this to uh, Baldrick, which I probably want to do. Um, because he also gets spellbook later on, so yeah, so I give this to, so with his third action, I give this to Baldrick. So Baldrick now, I put it, but I put it in the backpack with Baldrick, just because currently everybody is all well and I don't care. Um, it's interesting, it doesn't have a ring so it just says once per turn the enchanted survivor heals one wound um, but I can't um, use it to revive one but it doesn't say what range that thing has so does this have just unlimited range maybe let me quickly check in the rule book um for enchant actions what the uh range on enchant actions is uh, that's not it that's not it enchanting uh okay so it's line of sight Yeah, so it's line of sight. Okay. Yeah. So but unlimited range and line of sight. Okay. Um so that's Chloe is done. Uh next up I'm going to search with the Samson. Actually I don't know if I could keep both of them. I only keep one of them. Well, so let's see. Um, ooh, that's nice. I get another. Ooh, that's the plate armor, which is even better. 
and I get the uh, an axe. Uh, I mean the axe isn't. I mean the axe has the ability to open doors just with, without any problems. Uh, but the range is the same and the damage is the same and hits are the same. But the plate armor is really good, and I think I'm going to keep the plate armor. And um, so that's that. So I can rearrange my thing here. So I give. Um, so maybe, so I could also trade, I mean, yeah, so I think I'm going to trade and give this to Samson for the moment, because he doesn't have anything equipped yet, so I get Samson, uh, Clovis, so Clovis the plate armor with my trade action, so because now he's a really good hitter, he hits for with three die or with three dies with a hammer and has three plus armor safe, which is really great. So that's Samson done. Um, he could have still an action, but I don't care. Um, so next up is Nelly. She attacks with her crossbow, um, which gives her two dies and hitting on four pluses and dealing two damage. And she can re-roll, but it's, it's enough, so she kills that fatty, and she gets to three experience points. Um, with that, so... Whoops, and that... Remove that from her thing here. So she searches, and she gets uh, plenty of arrows, so if she would... She could also equip that, but or use that, but I don't need to. Um, there is nobody else with ranged yet, so or with a arrow yet, so that's okay. Um, so yeah, let's let's turtle some more. Next up, I use or I um. So you see, he is coming slowly, but that's okay. Um. So next up, I'm going to activate Anne. And Anne can also search why or use two things. There is another axe and there is this spell here, um, which hits on a four plus, deals two damage. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm yeah keeping that. Um, so I initiate trade with Baldrick, um, which is a bit of a shame because now Baldrick loses his um, his super spell here. So let's basically let's get her out. I activate Baldrick anyway next turn. So. Um, yeah, so he loses the mana explosion double thing, but I really want to have a two damage spell with him. And until he gets Inferno, I'm probably going to do that. Uh, so yeah, so and I still could, as soon as I get Spellbook, I think I, I could re-equip mana explosion again. I don't know how this works with Spellbook. That's kind of an interesting thing. And that's him done, and then again with Baldrick, uh, I search, and you just get some water. Okay. Okay, so um, again, it's Zombie's turn. Um, movement, 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 and movement. They don't move. And then there is some spawn. Uh, double thing here, so um, there is one fatty spawning, and then there is another spawn, which is just a walkthrough. So I'm still at blue with everybody. So yeah, I'm thinking, uh, I mean, I'm thinking a bit around. So. 
Um, I probably want to just search so that I can get a second dragon bile just to be on the safe side against the abomination and then probably start moving into the second house to get the objective to hopefully get a, a non a, the one of the wall weapons um so yeah i'm still probably gonna be still here and search a lot search around so um Samson, let's search with Samson. He has still the uh, thing equipped, the torch equipped, so you can search twice. Which he gets another short sword and he gets fireball. Ooh, that's three dice. Oh, I want to keep both of them. And short sword is also really good for him because he currently is really under equipped. But fireball is really great for Baldric as well. Because it's basically a better mana explosion. Um, uh, so I don't know if... Yeah, I mean, I, I played it as currently as that. I mean, I think I keep Fireball. I think there's more shorts. And I could... If I find some other weapon, I could give weapon to somebody that has a dagger and then exchange their short sword with the one so for example i could get nelly's short sword because yeah so yeah i don't so i get the fireball i keep the i keep the fireball um so that's his first action then i trade of course with baldrick as his second action and give baldrick the fireball so he unequips uh, the mana explosion and um, picks up the uh, fireball because it's basically a better mana explosion, even the war wielded mana explosion. So, yeah, why not? So, that's him done. Next up, let's use Anne just because. Well, let's not use Anne because then she has everything. She, has, she already has one of the dragon piles. So, let's. Um, Let's do Clovis next and search with Clovis. He gets that, which is a ranged spell, which is also not really great. Uh, let's give this uh, also to. Nah, I don't. I don't, I don't really want this. Um, that is all really. Ah, uh, let's keep his in his backpack. I don't know. Maybe he can use it. Uh, so that's Clovis's turn done. Uh, let's go with Nelly and search with her so she finds another dragon bile. Which is uh, kind of good. So I could. Um, so it takes. It takes the abomination still two turns to get here. Um. Um, yeah, while searching, I equip it, then I chuck it. Um, so I put Dragon Bile into here. Um, and then I re equip again the, uh, the um, crossbow. So she is basically the same, except that she is thrown. Well, Actually, I can't equip the crossbow yet in this turn because I use this action to search. Oh, no, I can. I use the action to search and within the search, I can rearrange my things, which I equip the dragon ball and use an action to scotch it and then do another uh, rearrange action to get her back the crossbow. So that's okay. Uh, Silas search. Oh, Silas gets a hammer. You see? That's something for Samson. Um, so, yeah, give. Well, then it would need two hammers. Yeah, why not? Um, but if Samson throws the torch next turn, I could give him. He could equip the hammer anyway. 
Uh, yeah, let's trade with Samson, give him the hammer. And then it's Baldrick's turn to search. He gets the sword. Um, which he doesn't really want to use. But because this gets two dice, I also trade with Samson. And Samson now has a sword that can have two things here. And then if uh, once he uh, thrown the, the torch, he can equip the hammer and be a bit more useful. And then Anne, she draws again two cards. So she gets another firebolt and some plenty bolts, um, which is good because that means I don't keep the fireball. It's dual wield. I could... This is really enticing, you know. I mean, bolts would also be fine to give to Salas to reroll bolts. On his repeating crossbow. But having two fireballs on Baldrick is also really, really, really interesting. But if, because if he gets Inferno... And he's in orange. He can do so much damage. No oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I don't know what to do. Which one to keep? I mean, it's six dice because it's dual wheel. Six dice to roll with fireball. To just obliterate one zone. Yeah, I, I have to go for that. And I trade with Baldrick again, same zone, whatever. And put that into his backpack. So Baldrick is quite full in, in his backpack. So let's see, he has two fireballs equipped, which gives him um, six dice to shoot, but he only needs one damage. But it's okay, he could be a mass zombie killer. In his backpack, he has um, a two damage spell, which once he gets, once I find Inferno, I will give it to him because on orange he gets Spellbook, which he can he can uh, cast any spell that is in his backpack. Uh, I get the mana explosion and another mana explosion, some water and the healing spell. So that's currently in his backpack. So for example, I could get rid now of the mana explosion because. Well, fuck those, they're really bad. I get six dice on hitting on four pluses, which is better than hitting on four pluses with two dice. So, so yeah, I think I'm... So Baldrick, I think, is really well equipped. He has two fireballs in hand, uh, which is really great. Silas is okay-ish. I mean, he has... He can re-roll his... Short bow if or yeah, short bow if he misses and hits on two pluses. I think I want to find and he has a repeating arm arm uh, repeating crossbow. So I think he's also more or less fine with equipment. Samson is eh, he gets at least a chainmail and two and weapon Clovis. Yeah, I think I'm I'm fine. So I wait for the. Um, abomination to come around and kill him with dragon fire. So that's two more turns with which are boring. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So there's more searching. I mean, that's normally what you do in zombie side. Is the starting thing is really annoying and boring. Uh, no, let's activate first. Actually, so he moves into here. Um, they move here. Move. Move move and move and then they spawn um so one fatty in the upper spawn point and then the lower spawn point just gets one walker but i should be escalating um white soon i think next turn is my escalation turn um so i have to kill first that zombie away uh which i could do with um let's do it with some 
Zon because I want to shoot with some Zon anyway. Uh, yeah, so mm, yeah, let's hit with some Zon. His first action is to sh is to hit with his sword. Um, so he hits with his sword. Uh, he five plus, so he hits it and kills it. So he gets an experience point. Then Samson searches. He gets two cards. Oh, he gets a shield and he gets a armor. So the shield, um, you either get an armor save of four plus, which is the same as this, or I can re-roll my armor save. Um, which because he has iron height, so I could re-roll for hitting on a four, five plus. So. I don't know how this goes with probability wise. If this is better than a four plus, then rolling twice on a four or five plus. I don't know. So I'm keeping the shield, and he kind of keep the shield here in his slot, so that's really great. Um, and his last action, I could trade this, and I could trade this with somebody that's squishy, which is probably. I think I give this to Baldrick, just that he has an armor save of four plus. I mean, he can also heal himself, so that's whatever. Um, so that's, uh, Samson done, and then I just go, um, around and search, search around a bit. So, uh, let's search with Anne. Uh, so there's nothing really great here. Um, especially with Anne. I'd rather have another short sword with Anne, so I'd rather trade with, um, uh Samson than anything else. Uh so yeah, let's uh, let's let's keep I mean it doesn't doesn't matter whatever I keep here. Let's keep that, keep it in a backpack. Um uh I think I'm going for the trade action here. So I trade with Samson because Samson has a short sword. Um and then I'm going to rearrange my thingy so I remove the torch and equip the short sword just so now she has three dice. She gets, because of dual weaving, she gets one die of each of the swords, so that's two dice, and then she gets the um, dagger ability as well, so she gets three dice here. So she hits three, three dice on four pluses, so she's more or less where I want her. Um, Let's search with Baldrick then. So Baldrick finds another torch. So now he, because he has so much in his thingy here, he lets fall the mana explosions because he doesn't really need them. And he keeps the torch, um, so he could throw the torch if needed or he wanted in his backpack, but I don't think this is going to happen any time now, so there's some mana explosions going in here, which I probably don't want to pick up with anybody any else anyway. Um, let's search with Nelly then. Nelly gets also a torch, so everybody gets a torch. You get a torch, she gets a torch, everybody gets a good torch. The question is, for example, if I... Nah, because she has the crossbow, she's more ranged now. Nah, I don't want to equip it. Let's 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 put her into that. So then let's search with Silas. Uh, he gets other another apple, an apple a day. He keeps zombies away, maybe. And then searching with Clovis, Clovis gets a sword. So now, um, you know what? What I do would it takes a lot of trading. So I'm gonna trade the sword with an and you will see you will see how this will affect anything. So that's that. So again zombie phase move 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 they move there's the move they move um then there is some spawn again so the upper spawn 
uh, is a fatty and then there's a walker on the lower spawn so now I'm going to move because the equipment deck there isn't any there isn't much left in the equipment deck and I think I'm pretty well equipped here um, so what I'm going to do actually is the following um, so I have to be a bit aware so I want to throw the torch with some zone I guess so he gets to six experience points by doing that now currently he gets a seven because there's thing here so I have to kill this off first um, but whoever, uh, yeah, okay, complicated, or I could use, um, yeah, but, mm -hmm. Silas is also, well, Silas is really behind with, with experience points, so is Baldrick, but Baldrick will, will go qu quite quickly as once he gets, uh, he get, I can, let him lose with his fireball, so I don't have any problems with that. Um, so I have to get everybody to yellow more or less the same time, so I, so I don't slack behind. I could also just get somebody to yellow, to just spawn more, to escalate a little bit more quickly. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, so let's... So let's maybe shoot with Silas then into here with his short bow, uh, hitting on two pluses. Um, I could also good shoot. I, I actually can shoot with re repeating crossbow, repeating crossbow, hitting on four pluses because of his ability. Yeah, so that kills that off, um, which gives him one experience point. Uh, I think he's now at three, if I'm not mistaken. And he has, I mean, he has two apples, so he can. Um, yeah, so I can. Let's see. Uh, so I then. Okay, let's search with him again. So he gets some dragon bile, which is okay. And then with his last action, he goes, he's going to eat these two apples and gets two more experience points. So he gets to five, so he's also really close to an additional action. So that's Silas is done. Then it's, because now there is one less bad guy here, I activate Samson. So I search with him first. Ah, uh, well, blah. Okay, yeah. I no, I don't have to, now I have to figure this out because I want to do some trading. Um, so if I trade this uses an action to shoot that thing costs an action and then to search costs an action. So I'm fine. Yeah, okay. So I search uh, a dagger and some dragon bile. I could just chuck away the dragon bile. Um, because I... Let's see, I have one at Silas's. And I have one at Anne's. I think I'm fine. So I take the dagger, which is actually really good that I have that. So I take the dagger and then I throw the torch. So that activates this here, which kills the abomination. So that takes five experience points, which gets um, which gets some zone to six. Okay, so now now it's getting complicated. Now I activate trading with Anne. I give Anne the sword here. And because inside of the trading action, they can rearrange their thing here. Because I already got the other sword from, from Clovis last turn, I now have 
I get rid of these two short swords and give, give Anne these two normal swords, which again are dual wielding. Let's her now. She gets dual wielding this means. So it's four dice hitting on four pluses, dealing one damage. Plus she gets another die from the dagger. So she has five dice now. So she is, yeah. So she's now basically a, a, a killer for zombies that only have one health. Um, I have these two short swords. I don't know. Uh, I don't think I want to keep these with i think you can only equip shields here yeah um so what i'm gonna actually do is let them drop as well and i think i still can rearrange here so i have now a hammer and a dagger with him so he also has now two dies to hit with his hammer and hitting on four pluses and deals two damage so he's also a bit better at doing that so that's activated Samson. Uh, now there's everybody else. So um, the thing is, so that's basically basically gone here. So I can do some stuff here. Um, let's see. I have to get it here. So that's one two zone actually. So I could activate and so let's. Let's see her in action. Um, oh no, I shouldn't activate her because she gets to yellow. Hmm. No, maybe I activate. Um, yeah, activate Baldrick. Act let's activate Baldrick here. So, okay, Baldrick. So he moves uh, once to here and uses his free magic action to shoot with a fireball into that zone, which is. Six dies, hitting on four pluses. Um, yeah, that's just a bridge rate that space. Um, so he gets an experience point. Uh, he could have searched first. Nah, I mean, he still has two actions left, actually. No, yes, he has two actions left because this was a free action here. So he moves back and searches. Uh, ooh, a broadsword. It's five dice hitting on five pluses. Well, that's interesting. Um, huh. Well, interestingly enough, for example, Baldrick could equip a sword here. This is something maybe Samson wants to have, but then he doesn't have it. It's not a two damage. Uh, let's keep him. Let's keep that with, with him. I don't think it's anything good. And that's that's him done. Um, did I go with Chloe's yet? No. I think I want to first go with her. So she uses uh, a free movement action and another movement action. And she's now in range of this thing here. Well, actually she's in range of both of them. Um, Okay, so I shoot once um, with my crossbow into this space here. Let's see quickly. No, so I've. The thing is, I only attack this at the, at the moment, which is a little bit bad, but yeah, whatever. So let's. Uh, hitting on four pluses with this. I miss, I can reroll because I have plenty of bolts. Yeah, this hits, so this gets destroyed. Um, so actually let's move Nelly into here. Um, so this gives her one experience point for killing that. And then I can shoot once again into uh, the fatties um, with my crossbow because I don't have to reload it for an action. And because I use the free movement action to move here, I have still one action left. Hitting on four pluses, so this kills off one fatty. I mean, I could risk it and roll again and kill none of them, then they're in my space next turn. Oh, there's they're anyway in my space next turn, uh, which isn't an awful issue, maybe. Um, yeah, let's let's risk it. Let's have some risk uh, roll again. Yeah, I still just kill the one. 
So he gets the five experience points. So that's her done. So everybody's really close to yellow as well, which is good. So um, so I have Chloe's and Anne left. So, but both of, well, Chloe's could have a two damage weapon, but he can't move in there. And so maybe I just reposition myself uh, with them. Um, so I move here. Once, two, three, one, two, three. So I'm ready next turn to open that door. Um, so yeah, so now I'm spreading out. I'm probably gone done searching. I don't need this equipment. I can leave it here. Um, because I think I'm fairly well equipped. I still have two dragon balls and two torches to kill any abomination that comes. So I should be very well. I'm still at blue with everybody. Um, so Nelly is at five, Samson is at six, Silas is at five, Baldrick is at one, but he will quickly get better. Chloe is at three and Anne is at six. So there's, they're all close to, to yellow, which is good. So don't have any stragglers, etc. So that's close. So, uh, let's move around some zombies and I still have one yellow, um, spawning. Uh, down, which shouldn't be an abomination anymore, or a, a one blue spawning. So there shouldn't be anything here. So, oh, that's the first runner I have spawned. So yeah, I was wondering where they kept up. And then the bottom one, which activates the um, Necromancer, actually. So let's spawn on his spot. Uh, nothing. Okay, and then just teleport him uh, to one and five. So he moves up there. Okay, that's uh, zombies done. Um, that's actually the wrong pile. Okay, so. Um, oh, Nelly now has a problem because uh, she doesn't have a two damage. Oh, she has a two damage weapon, but it's not going to help her with range. Um, so I use one action and my free right, basically free movement action and one action to move out of that space and then hit the 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 fatty with my crossbow that does two damage and has range one to two. Uh yeah. Still okay. Uh that hits I should have needed that last turn. Um so she's now off at six. And uh, because she has an action left, I try to open the door with, her, with the sword. Level plus, yes I do. So let's spawn some stuff, still on blue, which is great. Um, so let's spawn two walkers in there. Then let's spawn one runner up there. Let's get me a runner. And then the last one has double the thing in here. Uh, nothing happens because I'm still at blue. Okay. I dodged that. Um, so that's nearly done. So I could now cross over to yellow with Anne if I want to. Um, uh, yeah, I guess at some point I have to do it. And Anne is, I, I'd rather have it with Baldrick because I want Baldrick to get to orange so I can heal again. So I can move, move free shoot and then move again to get into position to get up there and to gather some experience points um for baldrick it's because i can't get that far anyway yeah let's let's move in so i use bloodlust uh with n so i use bloodlust with n get into here have a melee action so I get two, four, five dice. 
That's five dice, hitting on four pluses. That's one hit. Well, let's not remove her. So that removes that, which now gets her to yellow. So she gets one free more, one more action. So let's. So now I'm at yellow. So she gets no one more action. So that was her first action. So as her second action, I hit again with five dice, hitting on four pluses. So that's two more dead. So that's uh, she's now on nine. And that was her second action. So as her third action, I hit again. Wow, nothing at all. And with her fourth action, I kill the last one off. So she is at 10. Okay, so that's her activated. And now I'm in yellow, so I have to get everybody else also probably to yellow. Um, so that means with Nelly, I'm gonna activate her next. She is... Um, Going to free move here, one move here. So he has one action left and attacks him. So she has. Well, I don't even have to do that. No, I, I stay here actually. So she just free moves here. She has three actions left. And I attack her him with my bolt, with my crossbow. Because there have two dies instead of one die on, on my normal thingy here. So let's, um, yeah, let's do that. So let's shoot that runner on a four plus, which I do. So that kills off the runner, uh, which also gets her to yellow. Question is if, if I wanna um, pick up the thingy with her, yeah, depending on what I get, it may or may not be that bad actually. I maybe also want to trade with Baldrick. So Baldrick is here next turn. So use uh, the action to move back here. To be... Well... No, let's stay in here. I could... I, mean, I could search. Yeah, let's search with her. Why not? Uh, another crossbow. Um, which is something I want to give Silas then. So I keep that in the backpack. Because then Zylus also has something that d deals two damage. Yeah, the repeating crossbow is okay-ish, but I think it's better to have that. Um, so, um, Clovis, let's see. Um, um, <laughs> I could, yeah, let's, let's go. So let's move in, pick up the objective with Clovis, and it is, okay. So I get a walled weapon. Um, so let's see, um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, let's see which one I get. One, two, so it's this one. I get the Orkish crossbow. Which is interesting because it is a melee weapon and a ranged weapon that deals two damage um, and hits really well, which is actually better hitting than the hammer. So yeah, let's equip let's equip that um, with Clovis. Um, so yeah, so now he because he had the hammer before, um, but now he has two dice, hits on three pluses on melee as well, which basically is three dice, because four dice because of the, the dagger and his ability. So that's uh, quite the improvement actually. So yeah, well, it's actually one more hit, but yeah, I mean, and he could do it in range. Unfortunately, he has to reload every time he uses the range weapon. So, so that's him done. Uh, because he, he gets it, of course, he gets to 8 experience, he gets 5 experience points and gets to yellow as well. So then it is, um, so I did everybody up here, so now let's go down here, so I let's do this with Baldrick. So 1, 
two action, then he has a three magic action to unload a fireball in there, which is six dice. Um, which kills off three, which is all of them. One, two, three. So this gives him three experience points, which gives him gets him to four. Do I have anything that's uh, well? I have I have water, so I can only use one action to use the water and get the five. This is a bit of a risk here because I'm staying now here, but I have all an armor with four plus armor save, so it shouldn't be an issue. And I, anyway, I have to get to to that space anyway to uh, get everything. Um, so yeah, let's basically just move one, two with him here, and then also move a Salas one to here. He could shoot. Nah, he doesn't have the range. So yeah, so that basically ends ends the survivor's turn. Again, it's the zombie's turn. This moves here. One move, one move, one bum, and that's done. Uh, but now I spawn in yellow because I'm in yellow. So um, all walkers get an extra activation, so um, basically just him. Okay. And then two walkers in the bottom position, which isn't that bad. Yeah, I think I got the worst one already, which is the two uh, abomination spawns at blue. Um, so I'm quite okay what happened what currently is happening here um so yeah yeah there's two fatties in here but i should be able to kill them um no problem so let's quickly uh do this um let's do um these are two ranges so i probably have to use the samson so let's activate samson then um he has a hammer uh, he has a dagger, so he gets two dice hitting on two pluses. Um, or hitting on four pluses, but dealing two damage. Um, uh, so he hits, so that's that, uh, which gives him one experience point, which crosses him over to yellow. Um, so he gets also a national action. So that was his first action. Um, I could move him one, two, three here, but then I can't attack, which is bad. I could also go over there. The probability that there is a um, a necromancer spawn at some point is probably yeah. But I think it's if he doesn't move, then it's bad because then I have to spend extra action. Yeah, let's go in this direction. Uh, let's stay. Um. Um. I, yeah, I, I guess I could stay with, or I could move here at least, or here, to be risky. Um, I mean, he has a five plus armor size so rerolls. So yeah, let's move. Uh, let's, those not that move that far along. Let me quickly check. Yeah, I don't think they have anything that's gonna be good in range well let's see i at least can kill these two why not um so let's one two move with baldrick and shoot into here with fireball um so one two three four five six so um so he moved one two he has uh two actions left and a free magic action so let's use the free magic action to shoot into there um yeah that obliterates obliterates these two no problem so he gets two experience points which crosses him actually to yellow which is great so he gets so he has three actions left now boy i so i could don't i have yeah i have that spell actually which I could use to kill off that fatty. Um, yeah, let's. Um, so let's one of the three actions I equip this spell. 
And then I have two actions left to um, hit on a four plus with one die into this zone here. Uh, so first try. Yeah, and that hits it, so it is already dead. Okay. So this gives him another experience point. Uh, and it clears off a little bit the space, which makes me much more comfortable. Uh, which I can now move one, two with him. He's still in blue, so it doesn't make sense to move him into here. He doesn't have range, um, so let's stay there. And then these are moving as well. They have four actions they could get into here. Uh, yeah, so let's move them all here. Uh, you know, I could also, I could divide and conquer actually. And I could go up there to open that door on yellow. Yeah, let's risk it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. She could move into here. Um, yeah, um, why, why not? Let's use the free movement action to move her. Deep. Because he does nothing anyway. I think so, because it says that he uses, don't use the normal necromancer, which is also... Well, does this mean this is also... Yeah, so what does this mean if he doesn't use his necromancer rule? Does he then move? Does he doesn't move? Does he activate and still do damage? Uh, I think he... I mean, he doesn't act... He probably will activate to hit. So let's say he hits. He still hits, but so let's not move her into there. So that ends my turn. Uh, this moves here. This moves up till here. Um, he does nothing. Um, now let's do some more spawn on yellow, um, which activates him, which is good actually. So on his thing, there is one fatty spawn, which is okay. And then he teleports away to blue six two. Okay, which is this space here. So he moves all the way back. And then the lower spawn is spawning. Okay, does it again? Okay, so he spawns another fatty in his space and then teleports away to 1-1, one, one, which is up there, which is okay -ish. And that's him. Yeah, there's bound to be more necromancer spawns now because I didn't see any of them for a long time. So yeah. Um so we're we're still here so now that this is clear off which is really great because then i can open that door better um so let's um get rid of this zombie uh, it doesn't yeah hmm. so let's get rid of this zombie first so this i uh, would say activate some zone then um Samsung uh, hitting on four pluses with two dice. Yeah, that kills him dead. He gets an experience point. Uh, that was his first action, so at his second action he moves up and hits again with his third action. That also kills it. So he gets another experience point. And so the third action, fourth action moves up there. and waits uh, until somebody opens the door um unfortunately these two can't open doors um so they basically just move up uh that's it so let's move to them over there um let's activate nelly um and she is Hitting with two dice and four pluses and deals two damage. So yeah, kills that. And so she has uh, three actions and a free move action left. So let's free move action here and use one action to open the door with her sword. Uh, nope, uh, second try. Nope, uh, fourth try. Or third try actually, so yeah, so that opens the door, but uses her last action. So there's two spawn go over there, so let's quickly spawn those, and then um, I did some bad things here. 
I mean, now at yellow, there could be some abomination spawns actually, so I have to keep that in mind, but I should still have enough. Uh, so the first thing here, uh, all runners, which there are none, and then there's two runners spawned. Uh, actually, over here. And um, that's the activation in that room, uh, which could have couldn't have gone any better. Um, so um, that's her done. Then let's go with. Uh, I could either go with Anne or Clovis. It doesn't really matter. Well, Anne is quicker up over there uh, so let's do Anne so Anne can move here then use her bloodlust ability which moves her two zones and she can attack which again with five dice five dice hitting on four pluses uh, so that's one runner gone oops Eleven, and then she does. She attacks again with her um, third action. Yeah, that also kills that off. Gives me twelve experience points, which makes it safe for her to uh, get that thing here, which is all the red one. So I get the last the spell here, which of course is Inferno. Uh, which I want to give to uh, Baldrick as soon as possible, but um, he's currently out of range or somewhere completely different. So that's that done. Um, so she goes to 17 because of five experience points. So she's close to orange, but not yet. But I don't care. Um, Salas is the only one that's still not in uh, or uh, yellow, which I guess we'll, we'll get soon. Um, so I need this uh, objective last, so uh, let's open the door with Samson because it's the only one that can do this actually. Uh, on a 4 plus this opens the door, um, 6, which is of course more than 4. So let's, sp let's spawn from bottom to top. Um, so down here I spawn uh, uh, one fatty, still at yellow. Um, then I spawn one more fatty here. And then I spawn, I activate the Necromancer, which he gets <laughs> fatties. Okay, that's that's the um, sloth house here, I guess. And then the Necromancer is teleporting to black three and blue four, which is down here. And then uh, that's that. Um, um, so that was his second action, I guess. I could move into there and kill some stuff if I want to. Um, yeah, why not? Because reasons. Yeah, so, okay, let's... I'm still here with Samson, um, activating him. So let's move into here. As his third action and with his fourth action I am going to hit with two dice and a four plus that may have been a bad idea but well we will see oh that's a miss okay um well we will see how well this goes I mean it's it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine um, so let's then, um, uh, activate Silas or Baldrick then. So let's see, I think I'm going to activate Baldrick. Yeah, let's activate Baldrick. Um, he, uh, shoots into here, which kind of is now... An issue but we will see 
Um, so I shoot into there. Four plus I hit with two damage. I'm using the uh, death blow here. Yes. Whew. Whew. Uh, that was tense. So that's uh, let's say it's free magic magic action. Then I move into here. Second action. Uh, third action. I shoot this tile. Nope. And uh, this is fourth action. Nope. Okay. That's bad because Silas can't do shit. Um, he has leather armor with 5 plus armor save, so he could go into there and just pick that up. Um, which costs him 1, 2 movements. Third action is picking it up, then he has 1 action left, but he doesn't have any weapon that deals 2 damage. So he would need to do the armor save next turn. Um, but yeah, I mean, why not? This gets him at least yellow. So one action, two action, third action, third action, getting this, which of course is the green objective, uh, which just gives him five experience points, which gets him to 10, uh, which of course gives him the fourth action. Um, so he's now in, in, in the same building as that, that fatty, which may or may not. And that's all activated, so now let's activate the zombies. So he moves here, and then disactivates and deals one damage to Silas, but Silas has leather armor. So he, can, he has an armor save of 5 plus. So on a 5 plus, he ignores that wound. Nope, he doesn't, so he takes a wound, so he's now at bit damage but when I get I mean Baldrick can heal if needed so whatever I don't care and then respawn so the upper zone uh, spawns four walkers look there is more going around here so there's four walkers here and then the lower spawn oh there's also fatty here that moves uh, and then there's double spawn up there again, um, which is three more walkers. Two and three and... Uh, oh, all fatties get another activation. Wah, wah. So that moves and he activates again. So there could be a second damage onto uh, Silas here. Yep. Okay, Silas isn't looking great. He has two damage and he's at one health left. Um, which could spell certain doom. Um, that's not great. Uh, okay, but um, yeah, whatever. Um, this shouldn't, this is still fine. So what is special now, now that since I picked up the fourth objective, um, basically um, he's now in a second form. So I can hit him now. So he has three, three life. Um, so let's put these here. So he has three life. And the only thing is when he teleports, he activates all zombies. Um, around him so here 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 and here so i have to be aware of that a bit which is currently not an issue because there's currently nobody there um i could try to at least um get to him uh this turn to to hit him which i, I think i can because nelly has a range of one to two so i could move one two three here so basically with two actions on the three movement actions and to here and then I have two actions to try to hit at least once the necromancer which could get rid of one life of him um so yeah um that bulk over there don't scare me at all because I have Baldrick um so I think I need to heal Silas um, with Baldrick, which means I need to do some re-equipment uh, of Baldrick. Um, so let's move these away for a minute. Or can I do them like 
uh, right here at the edge of the screen. Um, so let's I use so let's use one actions to do some rearrangement. So I unequip this and I equip um, healing. And then I'm using healing and healing Silas once. So he is back um, only at one wound. Um, and I use, let's say, my free move, my free magic action. So I have three actions left. So I could, um, what I could do is with two actions move out. Um, that's it, I guess. So yeah, let's move out for two actions and be there. Um, so that's him done. Then let's activate some zone to hit that guy for with two dice and hitting on four pluses because of his hammer and his dagger. Uh, yeah, that hit kills him. So he gets an experience point for that. And then he could also... I mean, now I have to be a bit strategic to position um, my people at at the at some spaces so I can quickly get to everybody. Um, what I could also do, I mean, that used, that used one action, so uh, second action, go here, and third action, hit that guy in melee. Yeah, that kills him too. Okay, so this at least frees up Silas, and I should get my ranged people. Um, bit more in this in central areas i just have to make sure that i don't get into some spaces where activations of him will be bad um which i'm here fine with um with ball break so let's go um so let's move the health back so he has three health left still so let's move with silas um let's say this is a spot with where baldrick is i mean he has Theoretically, he's in yellow. He has four actions. He could one, two, three, four. He could get to here. Um, yeah, let's move him here and then move with Salas or Miss Baldrick somewhere up here. I think I stay with Anne there. Um, it's okay. So then let's see. With uh, Nelly, I activate her. So free movement action here. Then one, two, she has two actions left and she has the crossbow, which gives her a range of um, one to two. So this means, uh, and two dies and hitting on four pluses with rerolls. So I can snipe the necromancer. Now that all the um, things are gone and this gives me a good chance to actually hit it, hit him. Yeah, that's a four plus. So that is first life gone now i can't attack it well i can attack him but i don't deal damage for this turn anymore so um that's there is no use to do any, anything else um and maybe i will reposition with him a bit down there what's a little bit an issue now is the um uh noisiest zone thing here so one two three four i take the well i could one two Three. Um. Yeah. Uh, to do. Let's let's move just here. And let's see if everything goes. So now there is um. Zombie's turn. So so let's see where is the noises zone actually. Um, he just moved, so there's just has one noise here. So this is noisier, so he moves up there. He, because there is noise here, I would say they just move down there. Which is actually what I want. Um, so that's that. So spawning. Uh, spawning in the upper portion is four walkers, uh, three walkers. Let's not overdo it is. Um, that's an easy one. It's always three walkers. It's not. And then there's two more walkers on the lower space here. 
and that's it. Yeah, I think I'm getting some now some easy spawns here. Um, well, so um, let's activate Baldrick because I want to do some shit. Okay, let's use an action to re-equip my things and get Fireball gone going on, and. Uh, you can guess what happens next is I'm going to chuck a fireball into that big space there and just going ape shit. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have three actions left and a free magic action. I use using the free magic action to shoot into there, hitting on four pluses. Um, let's move. So that's three hits, which is perfectly average. So three hits. This gives him three experience points, he goes to 12. And let's do this again. So I have um, so equip from feet bridges. I have three actions left. So let's uh, do this again with an action. Um, so that's uh, two more dead. So he gets to 14. As I said, he quickly racks up the kills now. Um, so that was uh two actions left so one other action to shoot in there uh and that's the last two gone um 14 so he's at 16. so yeah that just obliterated that space without an issue which is what baldrick base actually does um so that Baldrick, I would say he just stays there. Um, so basically Baldrick has really great view. He could either shoot here, here, um, somewhere around. So I keep him here. I, I think I also keep Samson here. I could search with Samson, but it doesn't matter actually. There will be a, probably at some point another abomination spawning, but I think, I hope at that point I can kill him anyway. Um, so let's see, so let's keep Samson here, let's keep him here, let's activate Silas just to shoot these off. Uh, Silas still, I mean he could use his repeating crossbow. So repeating crossbow gives him three dice hitting on five pluses, but he and his ability gets hits on fours. So basically as standard as everybody else, he hits on four pluses uh, into here, so one act first action. Uh, kills one off and then the second action kills the other one off um, so that's basically it so let's put this correctly to 13 um, so that's him done um, I'm thinking I'm also gonna stay with him here yes the range um, so that's him done. Let's go with Nelly. Nelly shoots with her crossbow. Um, again, her crossbow, two dice hitting on four pluses. Um, let's say she shoots first at the... Yeah, I mean, she could shoot shoot first on, this, on the fat D, four pluses to hit with rerolls, four actions. I should be fine with that. So yeah, that kills the fatty. She gets an experience to nine. And then she hits the... Um, oh, she uh, anyway gets two experience points. I forgot that. She hit it last time, so she actually gets two experience points as well. Because hitting the necromancy gives you two experience points. So she hits... Uh, so she has three actions left. Uh, into the necromancer with rerolls. I think, yeah, I reroll that. Yeah, and that hits the thing, so he gets one less life. Nelly gets two more experience points to 11, uh, to 13. That's her done. Um, and Chloe's one, two, three, four just moves uh, into here if the necromancer has the feeling to move around. And I would say just stop here, there's nothing more to do. Uh, let's do some spawns. Uh, no, let's just first move. They move down here. Uh, spawn, double spawn down here, uh, which is, as expected, the abomination. Um, a runner. 
But I mean, this game is basically finished now. Um, uh, I activate Nelly, uh, shoot um, four times with rerolls and on hitting on four pluses. Uh, yeah, reroll Snake Eyes uh, doesn't hit. So second action, uh, and that's the hit. So this kills the last life point out of him, and that kills the Necromancer. Um, that is it, and as expected, exactly two hours playtime. Um, well, a little bit less because I talked a bit first. Um, so yeah, that is uh, that dead necromancer. Um, yeah, uh, quite an interesting thing here. I I guess I was lucky. So the last few, um, yeah, there was some invasions here and some double boots here. So basically, I have all necromancer spawns done. Um, I guess, I mean, if there would have been more necromancer spawns, that would have been maybe a bit more interesting. Um, I don't know how this uh, goes. I mean, I guess it's it's easier with, with Black Plague than it's probably going to be with um, Green Horde. Just because... Um, in Green Horde, everybody, everything hits for more damage, which would have, of course, killed Salas. Um, would have killed Salas, just, just that. Okay, then I would, I, I probably wouldn't have gone into that zone. So, um, it was, I mean, it was a risky move just to get the uh, the objective. I could have gone next turn into the, into there to get the objective, and I could sacrifice Salas if if needed. I don't really need him. Um, and of course, there is the. Um, in Green Horde, there is the. Uh, um, the Horde that could go come in, which, for example, could come in where the Necromancer was, um, or could give more stuff there, and which would make moving around the board a bit more difficult. Um, but in the end, I don't think. I mean, the the double brute is something that um, is is something that to that effect that handles that similar thing as in Green Horde. But I don't know. I, I think maybe Black Plague is a little bit easier. Um, even though I added some more spawn points because I have some more rooms where zombies could spawn. Um, but even then, I mean, I was. It was okay that the abomination spawned up there. It just gives me plenty of time to search with six survivors in one space, which is unfortunately always the same tactics you do anyway in in uh, in zombie side. Is exactly that you just turtle in some space and just search that. What's at least interesting is this um, mechanic here that the necromancer is moving around. As I said, there needs to be probably more Necromancer spawn cards. I don't know if Green Horde has more spawn cards, uh, Necromancer spawn cards. Um, if it does, it probably makes the game a little bit more interesting because he can, because the Necromancer can spawn or can move around. He can spawn um, zombies in your back, which you probably do not want to. But here it isn't. It wasn't really the case. He spawned like a, a fatty, and that's it. So well, whatever. Um, of course, in Green Horde again, this also adds uh, stuff to the horde. So this gets uh, so there's a snowball effect that mis is missing here in Black Plague. So this maybe makes this mission a bit easier. I don't know. Maybe I could have played with with Wolfsburg. I think I next time the next scenario. I I, I mean I got a request. I have to look at it. Maybe that's something I want to play with Wolfsburg. Because I guess what's what could be interesting here because the spawn points are there's only two spawn points on one side you could just hide in the other side with the wolves which have three activations um, they move quicker in the board so they are quicker at you because I because I moved into here there is like a lot of turns until any zombie even gets here. I mean, even from this spawn point, one, two, three, four, there's four, 
four turns or two turns for for walk over runners to even get here which makes it of course a bit slower and it gives me two turns which gives me 12 search accents at least um so i could equip myself already really well and with which is something what i did actually is to equip myself really well before i even get out to to yellow and I, i'm still at yellow i mean m i think is the highest one with 17 experience points out of so you with two more you would get to orange but staying in yellow uh, staying a long time in blue is i mean it's always a strategy in 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 in, in zombie side and i think i have to do something that's much more interesting of course there is um there are some zombies in this game or in, in with add-ons which are really interesting which unfortunately i don't have and one of them is the dead-eyed walkers which would have been probably also really really well because this they need me to move more because they could just stay here and snipe into me but of course i could just um kill them all as well but then i would gain um experience which then of course but i think point here is i think if you have Wolfsburg, probably try this as Wolfsburg. It could be much more interesting to have stuff in there that is fast. Because I was also really, really ha lucky. I didn't get runners for a long, long, long time. So either I misread the cards, which could also be. Um, but, but I didn't get runners for a long, long time. Um, I think there isn't even... I mean, I got an abomination really early on and some fatties, but I was able to get um, two damage weapon early on. And I think runners, there aren't that many cards that give runners at blue anyway. And I was just lucky to get them really late later on. So this never forced me to get out of this building. And I think it doesn't change much from what is the original quest. So in the original quest, um, you also have this spawn down here that could be accessed really quickly. And uh, just you can just turtle there. So I don't know. Yeah, I think the wolves would make it good addition because they, they are fast and they... Um, they force you to get out of the turtle. But then again, you can just snipe them off whenever they are at this position. Of course, because they have three movement, they could be here, then activate, activate, and attack. So you have to get out, shoot them, and then get back. And then you can't search because you get out for one action, shoot them for a second action, and for a third action, you get back in. So you have to have a gatekeeper, which reduces a bit your search actions. And there's also some house rules that are reducing the times of searching you can search in within rooms so for example you could just search, search one in room once in rooms um or like maybe twice which of course reduces the amount of searches um drastically and that's maybe also something i want to try out um for the next time to because i mean for the first hour it's probably going to be very boring just sitting just look, uh, watching me sitting in in the room and just um yeah searching until i find stuff and then as soon as i'm well equipped just get get out i don't think this is this is what makes it really fun i mean it's interesting and then you can just go out and kill everything i think i'm going to introduce some house rules in the next episodes um just because it makes probably for a more interesting game um but yeah I think that's that, that that's that's it. I, I as I said, the the mission itself is interesting. Um, the rules for the necromancer are a bit weird. I would still make him move normally as a zombie to get to to the survivors and attack them. Just staying in whatever place he is isn't probably gonna be any anything efficient. I don't know if I just misinterpreted that. Then again, it didn't really matter that much because, but otherwise, I mean, it's really annoying because he could get into into my turtle building, but he couldn't because he's basically until his first spawn, or he could even get to places where he can't escape the room anyway if I didn't open the door for that. Um, so yeah, I don't know. 
it definitely needs more zombies. Uh, it definitely needs more necromancer spawns, and it definitely needs more, um, more stuff that that's fast that can reach you, uh, that or that have reach, and the necromancer rules are a bit weird. Um, and I mean, again, as always with uh, Zenon and zombie side missions, they're sometimes not really well explained additional rules that govern governs them so yeah um other than that i mean everybody has arrived again yeah but i think i would say that's maybe an easy to medium thing here again it always depends on whatever you draw and the equipment uh and and any, anything else um yeah that's basically it. i mean what's left in this search deck isn't that of a that great anyway um so yeah i would probably say play with wolfberg as well it makes much more sense or much it's probably much more fun i didn't know that okay, going in um but that's probably from my experience use all the wolfberg and unfortunately there isn't anything in wolfberg that gives um that does something great here um or tiles that change it to whatever it is so yeah that's 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 my experience so yeah uh, as i said in the description should be a link to um how i change the uh the scenario to 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 be played with black plague but i think that's one that's probably not going to be that well um changed or that well that well um moved to black plague if you don't have green horde but still it's a free mission you have to try see you next time